What is up everybody, it's no one shall come right back at you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today we're going to do two things. We're going to do an unboxing, I know some of you guys don't like it, but I'm throwing that in there. And number two, I'm going to have a rant at the end, just some of the things that kind of irk me at my level. And it might affect you guys in the letter gameplay, but I want to rant about it and talk about it. Because some of these things actually would help us later in the game. I might not be coherent enough to actually say it, but I'm in a better mood. Um... What is today? Thursday? So, Tuesday, went out to, I want to tell you a story before I, I actually do anything, which helped lift my mood a lot from where I was at and what I was at. You guys know I was kind of down and kind of just bleh when I did my, my video the other day. Um, so, on Tuesday, I went to the casino with my mom because she needs help going out and I take her out when she needs to go and I help her out. And we went to the casino. It was fun. I spent about three hours, four hours on their free-to-play money. Didn't spend a dime, which was totally awesome i kept winning going down winning going down winning going down i knew she had to stop because i was like at 150 at one point and every time i went to the machine i would just boom free play boom bonus boom i was just like what the what's going on and then after a while i started getting into my money i had maybe 100 bucks i didn't pull much out because when i go to casinos i don't i truly don't pull that much money out um so i i played i i was doing all right i was doing the same for a little bit and then crash and then i get to my last machine i reach out i'm like Where's my vape? Because you guys know I vape, and it helps me calm down and all that. And it was missing. So I went machine to machine. I was at gone. I'm like, dude, what happened? And lo and behold, I think someone picked it up off me because I usually have it in my hand. Like I have this one right now that I had to buy the same day because we all know I have a nicotine addiction. Yeah. So that, yeah, it was a fun night that led to just me losing my mind because the casino is about an hour and 45 minutes from where I live. So an hour and 45 minutes without vaping, oh, my anxiety takes control. But anyways, let's get into the video. Let's do the unboxing. So you can see I have 39.9K Ultra Coot tokens. 30K were provided by my Scopely Overlords to do an unboxing video. And the rest I was doing the combat training missions that at my level, they don't, they don't pay so well. Look at that, 7.8 million. I'm just doing them to do them at this point. I need the officers, so why not? So let's get into the video and we'll see where I'm at and we'll see what, what I get. I'm gonna do the 4K pulls. I'm not gonna make this last long because I wanna do my rant because my rant is my rant. We know me ranting, rant, rant, rant. All right, let's go. Let's do the opening. Let's wait for the scoping math machine to go. Spin those dice, let those monkeys spin and let's see what happens. So at a 4K spin, got it. Eh? Mirik, Kang, Levis, Kumak, James T. Kirk. I only need 53 more of him. I will be happy when I get him the max. Then we have Remit. All right, let's hit open all. Boom, 97, mm. underside cross, because we all know I love cross. He's only good for underside the boat. So we got two more Vermits. Four more Kirks, so that puts me at 50 left. Uh, two more Levi or Kumoks, two more Levises, two more Kangs, two more Mirics, 750 transport patterns, two Barretts, which 10 more, and I'll get them max, which is gonna excite me too. I got five Carol, which I love Carol. I got one Marcus, five Charvenix, one Nero, three Krell, four Mitchell. I'm not gonna touch him with a 10-foot pole. One more to my Pike collection, which I don't think I'm going to upgrade them. One more to Decius, and one more to Mar uh, Maru. Maru, whatever you want to call her. All right, let's go into the next one. So first pull, I got a, I got a lottery winner. Let the scope of gods at RNG be on my side today. Boom, let's see. All right, some more transfer patterns. I'll show you guys what transport patterns are toward the end. So I got five more cross, three more Curla, three more Neros, four more Levises, two more Yukis. One more Decius, one more Pike, 675 more transporter patterns, two more to my Kirk, four more to my Gorkin, three more to my Carol, one more to my King, two more to my Vermit, two more to Astabur, three more to Charvenic, three more to Marcus, one to Krell, one more to, to Moreau. Let's go on again with the next one. Woo! This is such exciting unboxing. <laughs> I'm just acting goofy, sorry guys. A little hyped. So. Let's skip this all rigmarole. Also, one more cross, two more Astaber, five more Kirk. Yes. Keep giving me Kirk. 
four more Gorkins, three more Yukis, three more Mirics, one more Moreau, 750 more transporting patterns, four more Neros, two more Marcuses, two more Desis, one more Levis, three more Mitchells, two more Kings, one more Vermin, two more Carols, ugh, one more Krell, one more Parrot, I will hope I can unlock them by this end of this one, one more Pike, and one more Charvenic. All right, let's do another one. And here we go. When the spin happens, let the wheel go. All right, let's get over this part. Let's skip it. So we got two more Astabur, two more Kumox, one more Levis, four more to my Gorkin, three more to my Mitchell, two more to my Kang, two more to my Marcus, one more to my Yuki. Wow, 3,300 3, transport pens. I must have got a good pull on that one. One more Kirk, one more Barrett, which I'm seven shy, four more my, my Nero, one more Charbonic, three more Curla, three more Decius, one more Carol, one more Krell, three more Pikes, two more Crosses, two more Vermits, and one more Moreau. Moreau seems to have like low drop rates. Let's go on to the next one. Let's vape. All right, let's skip this. Okay, we got 39 more Moreau after I complained about her. Jesus. So we got 39 Moreaus. Four more Cross. Four more Barretts. God, I'm three away. I'm happy if I get them up there. Four more Charvenix. Three more Carols. Four more Des. This is five more to Pike. 300 more Transporter Patterns. Uh, two more Gorkins. Two more Curlas. One more Merrick, two more Kings, three more Mitchells, two more Kirk, so I have two, uh, 40 left. Uh, two more Kumox, four more Alexander or Marcuses, two more Asdabers, and one more Yuki. So we have what? A few more rolls left. Let's see what I get. I hope I get my unlock a uh, Barrett. I wish I'd get a full pull of Kirk. That would be bloody amazing. So come on, let's spin those dice like we're at that table. Come on, come on. Am I getting snake eyes? Am I getting snake eyes? God, this is taking forever. It's like you're just sitting there just lag, 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 holding it. All right. Let's wait it out. I'm not getting impatient like, like my buddy Deuce does when he does this. Yeah, so my rant's going to be, I don't know. I want to say interesting or not so interesting for some of you guys. Some of it's kind of what irks me at my level and it might help some of the higher levels like the actual whales that actually spend a boatload of money it's just a suggestion i've had for the longest and it might help them out in the long run who knows i'm saying i'm not gonna pull a deuce but i'm about to pull a deuce and just like do another spin and just say yolo and get the full two sets at once oh i know to rush it let's go back Let's not do another pull. Let's go to claim this one and force it. There we go. So if you guys get stuck, claim your 10 minute chest. So two Neros, three Kirks, five Gorkins, three Carols, two Moros, another 900 transporter shards. Let's not, that doesn't come in the pack. We all know that. That was just the 10 minute one. Uh, one more Charbonic, three more Vermits, one more Marcus, two more Carolas, one more Krell, Three more Pikes, one more Kang, one more Kumok, two more Mitchells, one more Astabur, one more Merrick, one more Decius, one more Barrett, two more Levises, one more Underside Cross, and one more Yuki. All right, let's go back to recruit. Let's do another one. I should get my Barrett unlocked that full, which would be amazing. Okay, here we go. Let's skip that. Open all. So we got three more Astabur's, three more Neros, four more Gorkins, Two more Barretts, four more Kings, two more Carols, two more Yukis, four more Krells, 375 more transport patterns, four more Crosses, three more Moreaus, uh, got another Kuma, got three more uh, Pikes, three more Curlas, two more Merricks, four more Mitchells, and one more Levis. So we got two more pulls and some little baby pulls at this point. Let's see if this game catches up. There we go. Let's hit skip. Hit open. Okay, we got 36 Kumaks, four more crosses, 
One more Astabur, five more Kang, sweet. I'm 30 away from Kang unlocking him. That's amazing. Five more Marcuses, two more Moros, two more Mirix, three more Pikes, two more Neros, one more Yuki, two more Curlas, 450 more Transporter Patterns, one more Charvenic, two more Vermits, two more Gorkins, two more Decius's, one more Carol, one more Levis, three more Mitchells, and three more Kirks. Hey, uh, if you guys didn't know, the transport patterns come from when you max out a purple or some blue officers, you have maxed out, like, you have the max amount of shards you can get. Those are what those are, and I'll show you what they'll do at the end of this pulls. Alright, we got one more good pull. No, I can actually get another 4k pull, I'll just spend some minus credits. So we don't, like, get that anticipation going. So, we got four more Nero, two more Vermits, one more Levis, two more... Mitchells, three more Charvenix, two more Carols, one more Moreau, 10,050 transporter patterns, another three more Pikes, one, two more Kings, two more to my Kirk, two more to my Gorgon, three more to Decius, one more to Cross, two more to Merrick, two more to Yuki, and four more to Alexander. Let's go to my line store and get one of those. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's buy that one for 250. Boom. Then we go back here and we do our last big pull. Yay. Hip hip hooray. Let's see if we get lucky on this one. So no luck on my end pull. So we have two more Curlas, three more Neros, two more Kumux, seven more Kirks. Sweet. I am 25 away. That makes me happy. But I heard he's like 21 or 2200 fed credits. So that's a, a grind and a half. So give me more of those faction uh, hunts because daddy needs a faction hunt since we get the um the faction lock back next week which a lot of us should be excited for got three more marcuses two more carols 450 more transporter patterns one more astabur one more levis six more kang oh my god we are so close to getting him there too gorkin three more five more to merrick one more to krell three more to mitchell two more to yuki one more to pike and one more to vermit and one more to Moreau. So once you max, once you, well, these are where transport shards goes. You guys won't see them, but I see them. You can unlock one, for every 1,000 transport shard pattern. You can get one shard of the officer. So these are the officers you can currently use the transport shards on. First one I used it on was Pike, and then I'm gonna use it on Kirk, and then I'm probably gonna pop to Moreau at that point. That's my game plan. So I have five or 99, 9,900 transport shards. So that means I can get nine more kirks which will get me that much closer and tonight i'm gonna do another uh what's it called one of those uh federation packs because i want to get them up there all right so let me finish that off i want to check if they actually unlock barrack because he stopped showing up after a while and i started seeing a little more transport shards patterns shards whatever you guys know what i mean all right, let's go back. Let's go to my officers. Okay, let's look at everything. <laughs> let's see. Yep, Barrett's ready to upgrade. Sweet. And then... So Kirk is almost there. I need 16 more Kirk, which is amazing. Let me see where Kang is. I need 22 more Kang. And Charvenic, I need another 50 or 41. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet love. Let's see. Let's promote him. He's 4,800. Yeah, I've been saving that up, if you guys didn't know. The bet, the, yeah, that one. That, that one up there. Up there. Like, right, 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 right. Oh, I can't get it. Right here. All right, there we go. Boom. I'm happy to get him up there. Let's see. Deception is at 30%, but that's something we care about. I did a mining video back in the day talking about miners and yada, yada, yada. So he has 70% boost to crystal rate. And as deceptive, I just don't care for it. All right. So let's talk. Let's rant. So I want to go to our, um, our research tab. I want to go to the station. So you all know we have... Pure Tritanium and Pure Dilithium. 
At my level, my pure titanium does 68% for what I unlocked. And my, uh, so does my pure deal. So what they do is, let's say, here, I'll show you. It's going to be a shocker, but no, I can't do that. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so let's say a ship costs you uh, 200 mil. Now let's just do the easy math. Let's say the ship costs you 100 mil to upgrade a part. So you have to have the 100 mil on hand to do that. And once you buy it, you get a roundabout, it's not going to be exact, but about 68% of it back. So you get about 61 million back, or 68 million back, give or take a few million. Because the system's a little weird when it comes to it. So it saves you money in the process. I did a video on that, and I showed it actually working, which is amazing. So does dill work, but it's not it's not as significant at times. Because if you look at 100 mil numbers in your mind, looks okay, this is easier to do the math, and this is what's going to give me back. Cool. But when it gets to, like, pure tritam, yeah. The thing is, I have a problem with now at this point in the game. So, let's do my base. Let's look at an upgrade. So, yes, can you see how much I have of it? Oh, my face in the way. That's all you need to see. So, right here, upgrade cost me 476 million. 476 million for one part. And as previous video I showed you going from Ops 38 to 39, the Ops Center cost about 1.1 billion. Yeah, yeah, I know. In the long run, if we look at it, we go to the research tab and we go. Here, some guys are pointing out, but 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 no one building efficiency. It give it takes about 62% off of it. Yeah, and why not just give us the idea of one of these two up here? Why don't we do that? Because it would save a lot of these high-level players that are sitting there dishing out money, or even the low-level players dishing out money for pure. You call it pure steel. Put it right here. We got a spot for it. Put pure steel into it. Say I have to spend a billion on something. Give me 68% of it back. 680 mil back. It will ease the cost for the whales, ease the cost for lower level players. It will ease the cost of the economy in the long run. I know you should say, take it off, take it off. Nah, let's, let's just get the rebates. Rebates are cool for now and then work on it throughout the time. Let's let's get building efficiency going and it'll help out the whales, the lower level players. It, it's just steel. Some of you guys are like, nah, steel's not needed. Brah, steel is needed. When you level, is gnarly needed. Anything leveling wise, I always suggest pure trit, get as much as as possible before you want to upgrade a ship at your level and pure dilithium because it will save you. And the other things that will help you out in the long run is Klingon ship structure. If you have Klingon, improve the cost efficiency of titanium dilithium for Klingon. And then Federation, the same one, they give you those percentages back. Those are the ones I highly suggest going into. So it'll make your ship building, some of your ship stuff cheaper, some of that stuff. Let's look at, um, Da, da, da. This is just damage stuff. This is just normal stuff. So that's the one that eases all your costs on everything. Um, what else was it around about? Because my mind just went bleh. But this is an 18 minute video. I don't think you guys want to see me sit there for 18 minutes and yap. Um, I'm truly happy about the faction not coming back. That was just, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scopely, for giving us it back. It's coming back soon. Coming back scheduled next week, what, I, what I've been reading. There's more content coming this month that's going to be amazing. I can't really say much of it. Um, he was kind of hinted at it in one of his videos. I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, I already ran it about the bonus refinery. Um, that's about it. It's just, yeah. That's about it, guys. All right, it's no one shall punch you now. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Don't forget there's a Discord link down below if you want to talk to me when off I'm offline. And remember down below that is a donation link. You don't have to donate. But if you do, I love you. And if you don't, I still love you anyways because you watch my goofy face on camera. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay positive. Have a wonderful day.